Commentary from the heart to Father Antonio Agnes. Today is Monday in the 17th week of ordinary time. We celebrate the memorial of Saint Martha, Mary, and Lazarus. First reading, Jeremiah chapter 13, verse 1 to 11. We have two versions of the gospel readings, either John chapter 11, verses 19 to 27, or Luke chapter 10, verses 38 to 42. Friends, these words from John's gospel are quite known to us. I am the resurrection and life. If anyone believes in me, even though he dies, he will live. And whoever lives and believes in me will never die. Yes. And these words are popular, especially when we attend funeral masses. I don't know whether you lost a loved one before, a family member, a friend. If you go for funeral masses, these words are repeated at every funeral mass. Friends, these words were first made by Jesus to this family whom we are celebrating today. So today we are celebrating a family who is made up of saints, a holy family, you can say. Are your families holy? Can you say that in your family you are all doing your best to become saints? Today we have an example in Martha, Mary and Lazarus, the same family. We have three saints coming from this same family, friends. It is an encouragement that look, your whole family, from father, mother, child, can become saints. So it's possible, friends. The whole family can be saints. So please, let's work on that to make our family become indeed holy families like that of Martha, Mary, and Lazarus. Uh, friends, I have to add that today's feast has now come under a new name. Um, four years ago, um, if I had this celebration, today's feast, uh, it would have been called the Memorial of Saint Martha. You know, last week we had Saint Mary Magdalene, today Saint Martha with today. So many, many years ago, um, today's feast was seen as the second part of last week's celebration because Mary last week and Martha today were seen as the siblings, as sisters. And that was the Mary and Martha and that we know that Jesus went to their homes, he had time with them. But today, at least from 2021, the Catholic Church had made that distinction. That this Mary and Martha, whom we hear in today's Gospel, are not the same Mary Magdalene. Mary Magdalene and this Mary are different people. So since 2021, we have separated the celebration of um, St. Mary Magdalene from the celebration of St. Martha, which is today. They are no longer joined because that Mary is not Mary Magdalene. Okay, friends, but it's interesting that look, today we say, Martha, Mary, and Lazarus. Some years ago, just four years ago, they say St. Martha. Whoever this Mary was, you see, you have forgotten her in centuries. We never celebrated her, but today we are celebrating her. You cannot be forgiven, forgotten, friends. You cannot be forgotten. This is very important. Even if we human beings, even the church forgets you, if you are a saint, if you are a good person, you cannot be forgotten by God. See how now we have brought back Mary, whom was known, who was not known, because some Mary, other Mary, had overshadowed her, and now Lazarus. I don't know whether you could be like this Mary, sister of Martha, or being Lazarus who have been neglected in your family. Maybe when they are mentioning people in your family, they even leave you out, you are let out, or even come last. But don't be disturbed, don't be worried. You see, what people judge is when they find out then. Our last judgment is before God. How God sees us. And God will not despise you. God will not jump over you. God will not neglect you. Like Mary and Lazarus, who are added to today's feast, you will be remembered, friends. This is an encouragement. Keep doing the good things you do. Keep being, being the good person you are. And surely, if you are neglected even by society, your God that you worship will never forget you, will never neglect you. So friends, this Martha and Mary and Lazarus, the Bible tells us, were good friends of Jesus. Indeed, Jesus loved this family so, so much that he went there often, we are told. You see, 
the first time he went there, Martha and Mary were working. You see, uh, we told that Martha was working and Mary was listening to him and Martha complained. And Jesus told her, look, this woman or sister has taken, chosen the better part. You know that story very well. But that statement from Jesus doesn't mean that we should let go of doing good and rather think of only being with God in silence. It just means it's, they go together. You see, in the Catholic Church, we have what we call faith and works. So here, Mary, faith, Martha, works, they go together. Friends, we cannot only work faith, faith, faith without works. Neither can we be doing charity, charity as we do in the church. You know, we take care of the poor people, the homeless. We can't do those things unless we come to sit at God's feet, Jesus' feet. You see, that's what some people say that, look, you can't save the work of the Lord and forget the Lord of the work. Sometimes we are busy with the works of the Lord and we forget the Lord of the works. Martha, Mary are these examples for us. As much as you have time for the works of the Lord, we need to have time for the Lord of the works. Very important, friend. It's always a balance. That is why we need merry breaks. I call them merry breaks because just like coffee break, you know, you go for a seminar, you go for any program, and it's going to be a long day to, to, to take away the boredom, take away the, the stress. You have coffee breaks where you can take five minutes off. This is the merry break we need, friends, at your office. Create merry breaks. Times you can sit alone, even a minute, to say one Hail Mary in your heart. We can be active friends, active friends, active friends. Business is not a virtue, if you want to know. But when we, we, we put time to spend with God, that is a virtue. That is a virtue. So I pray that just as the church even gives us some merry breaks, you know, we have Angelus, 6, 12, 6. It just remind that, that look you can't go your whole day without breaking for god put in spiritual breaks maybe it's time to think of the spiritual breaks just as you go for break time and whatever in our own works our workplaces think of spiritual breaks during the day that is a merry break sit on the feet of jesus and that's why jesus said she has chosen a better part we all need some merry breaks, indeed, friends, in our day. And that will make our days, indeed, perfect. Because Mary and Martha, together, we serve God. Always important. Let me end with uh, Lazarus, whom we don't hear of physically meeting Jesus. The only time he meets Jesus, he meets Jesus is in death. When he died and Jesus brought him back to life. Sometimes we say, that, oh, this guy is lucky. Look, he died and Jesus brought him back to life. My friends, have you forgotten that this guy had to die again? So sometimes we have to actually pity him. He was used by Jesus to show that God can resurrect us from death. God can bring us back to life. But after that, re after that resurrection, you can call it, Lazarus had to die again. Imagine the pain of that, how we suffer when we are dying. If you see somebody dying, what they go through. This man had to go through that awful experience of dying twice in his life yes so friends that is lazarus for us he was brought back to life but he had to die again yes of course jesus tells us that when we resurrect in the on the final day we shall not die again so we shall be more than lazarus to be better than lazarus because we are not going to rise to life to die again but to live forever with god we pray for our families friends that we shall have Martha's in our families, we shall have Mary's in our families, and even the Lazarus in our families. People, Lazarus, who are used for something good, and sometimes, silently, they are let to go away. We pray for such men and women in our families and in our societies. Let us pray. God our Father, we thank for the gift of this family, Martha, Mary, and Lazarus. Please help us to make our families like them, Martha, Mary, and Lazarus. Father, we want our families to be holy. We want you to come into our family, be the guest of our family. Jesus, come and spend time with our families. Make our prayer in Jesus' name. Amen.
Praise be Jesus Christ. <laughs>